Welcome everybody back to our Dead Space playthrough. Last time I got to this dreadful place and I was talking about how creepy uh, kids and babies are in horror films, books, and games and all that. And how it will take away our hopes and dreams for a future <laughs> better tomorrow. And um, it's actually, uh, before I record in the next episode, I've been here for about... Uh, five minutes with my headphones on, uh, just kind of, you know, doing my other stuff and I'm, what I need to do before another recording. And, I don't know, I keep thinking about certain, um, uh, uh, creepypastas that I've been reading and it just, you know, I'm in my room, I have my door closed and all that. It's only like four o'clock today and it, it just starts to get around, it starts to get dark around four o'clock now and as it gets dark, I feel this overwhelming dread coming before me. It's like, um, I should probably finish up my recording for today before I have a heart attack. I also have a shit ton of coffee and I'm drinking a sugar-free Red Bull, which is a bad combination. <laughs> so I should probably finish up my recordings for today and get the fuck out of here because, um, I'm going to try and do at least a chapter a day. So that should give you guys perfect time to figure out um when's a good time to comment on videos and all that to figure out well uh, what i should do you know what i should what you want me to do do you want me to use a certain weapons and all that so try and comment definitely before the next chapter starts i'll try and give at least a day or two rest after uh um after doing a chapter and there are 12 chapters and all so you got you got about another uh 10 chapters to comment on so definitely do that but I need to get out of there because I'm tired of hearing little baby laughs that I really shouldn't be hearing because they're all in tubes or little glass containers of hell and uh, I really need to oh my god get out of here get out of here freaking hell what the hell get the hell out of here little baby creep of death I thought that didn't come out until you walk further there's something else. There's, I bet there's one right here. Where the hell do you come from? Seriously. Oh my god! <laughs> I thought you were dead! <laughs> uh, what the hell? I thought you were dead. <laughs> I was gonna, like, look, it only has so much space to hide. And it's still f somehow... Guess that, hey, they've been studying these things. I didn't notice that, but they have their tentacles and all that. It's very interesting that they've actually been studying how the hell they captured them, or, or I don't know. But yeah. Oh yeah. Last episode, I was talking about how you can like look at one of these things, and they'll there's going to be like actually I don't know. It might be a different difficulty or something something like that. If you stay there long enough, it'll pop out. Yeah, yeah, I know. It might have been that one. I don't know. Uh, but. Oh, it's still moving. That's creepy. That's <laughs> so nasty looking. I need to get out of here. All right. But, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I need to spend a week or so away from horror and creepy stuff and everything else like that oh, before I pick that up. And, uh, I don't know. I've been watching, reading, and listening to nothing but depressing or scary shit, I just need to take a break from it. It is a downer at times. It's like, aw, I don't want to. I don't want They're awesome stuff. I've been reading nothing but really good things. Quality good. All right. That thermite you picked up should be able to melt through the barricade. Use the shock pad to ignite it. Hope I can hold this position. So shock I can hear something big moving out there. Shock pads and thermite. And if you guys don't know what thermite is, oh man, is that some good melting material. Um, if you guys have never seen an episode of uh, there's either feature weapons or even even uh, I think one of the episodes in Mythbusters. I think Myth Mythbusters used it a couple times, but man, thermite is probably one of the most most resourceful melting materials because it has such a high melting point. Well, not a high melting point, but it gets so hot that it can melt pretty much almost anything. And, or at least on our uh, 
planet. <laughs> but that thing, I think it can almost get to the point to where it can start breaking down dy dynamite. I might have to look that up, see if that uh, theory has changed. Because I don't know if they've actually tested that. But if they did test that, as I say, melting, melting di diamond is actually, especially in that quick amount of time, is actually really hard. So that would be very interesting. But yeah, getting your hands on thermite because I don't think you can get it on it now because a lot of people try and use it to break into vaults <laughs> as like some high risky maneuver uh, bank robbing. Uh oh, something's coming. Yeah, people try and use uh, like thermite instead of dynamite now. Oh, I killed you before you got me. Ha 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 ha. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, that's his arm. <laughs> I thought it was something else there over there. Bad. No. Alright, get some stasis. Oh, it's so good to see that stasis thing go up. You know what? Even though I don't use stasis a lot, and I sometimes I sometimes screw it up using it. Um uh, making sure that's still a dead body. Alright. I don't really use stasis that much. I only use it if I'm in if I'm like surrounded or if I'm in such a bad situation. If I'm surrounded, I'll shoot it straight down to at my feet. So everything that's around me gets kind of uh hit with it. I don't have to hit one target and you know if I accidentally miss, you know, it'll still freeze everything around me. So <laughs> I always uh, try and aim at the feet or a little bit ahead of it because it's usually going to probably run at me once I get the stasis out and shoot at it. But, yeah. Thank you. I got baby thing. All right. Finally got that through. Uh, anything to sell? I don't need all these. I think I I'm gonna only gonna keep one of those. And uh, ammo, I'm going to store a couple. I never sell ammo, although it's like yeah, it's a really good amount of credits there. I don't sell it because I I I'm pretty smart when it comes to ammo supply. So I'll, I'll move them, but I won't sell them. I might sell like maybe one pack. Okay. <laughs> But that's that's pretty much it, um, and that's pretty much how I that's how I like to have mine. I know like the biggest survival horror game in me would say, okay, more more health, more ammo. Like this isn't enough. But in Dead Space, I you collect so much throughout your playthrough that you you only need this when you're doing saves and inventory check and all that. So. But the biggest thing I've always did is either upgrade your uh, your suit or buy a power node. Or if you're low on ammo, buy ammo. You won't really need to buy health packs because you'll find those at the perfect amount of times. They always give you enough am uh, health packs. Even on in, uh, Insanity, I think, or the hardest difficulty. So, yeah. I haven't. The only thing I haven't played is uh, Hardcore mode in Dead Space 2. <laughs> I I might do that one day. I'm not going to cast it. I'm not going to record it because there's a limited amount of saves. And I seriously don't want to go through that. I like, I'll do like, because they said it's like, what, it's limited of like three or five saves or something like that throughout that whole entire campaign. And uh, I might actually do some like, you know, I might actually look up some tips and all that. It's like, okay, what was the best ways? That people got kind of got through this because I played, I played insanity mode on here, only doing uh, plasma cutter, and uh, without this suit. This suit, if you guys don't know, if you guys have played this game on the Xbox 360, this is called the Elite suit. It's pretty much a fully upgraded suit. Well, not fully upgraded, but it's the highest tier suit, and it has up to. Let me see. I can show you how many slots it has. Yeah, it has that many slots. It has like fully. Upgraded inventory slot management and everything else like that has up to n Okay, yeah, the air and armor as long as you it's always the same no matter what as long as you keep upgrading I don't really have that much armor though. It's only 10% of armor interesting but I better I better stop that guy from slamming his head into the wall <laughs> It's 
But I wonder how long he's been doing that. And it's got really dark. Oh, what the fuck? Uh, before I end this episode, I might as well see his head blow up. <laughs> ah, look at him. He's multitasking. Oh, man. In order for him to do that, he must have been... He must have been slamming his head for about a couple hours. I'm not going to lie. He looks really messed up. But alright guys. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you for the likes and subscribes. And I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy yourself.